Hi guys, just a quick video. I'm going to try and keep it short. Um, first of all though, um, I do have a lot of footage of the new Platinum that I've got, the tungsten carbide one. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to take me quite a while to sit down and edit it all together. Um, so I'm going to keep this video short because there's not much space actually on my SD card. Um, uh, three of these knives these three are on gear bastion I'll reduce the price a little bit more um, but I'm not going to go that much lower for the simple fact that the paint this is after some heavy abuse the paint does come off uh, this is my own decided to keep this one however the steel underneath the um, partial bayonet heat treated 52100 is the absolute bollocks it is shit hot very very good steel high carbon um, it's just fantastic <laughs> to be honest um, and if you didn't like the paint then it wouldn't actually take that much to take it off to be honest um, but there's those three there they're still actually sat on gear bastion and I'm going to drop the price a little bit but like I say, not a lot because it's still a hell of a knife underneath the paint, uh, which is Siri, um, not Siri coat, sorry, it's uh, Krylon if you haven't seen it already. Uh, that's those. Uh, these made a little while ago. This is the last thing that I made on the glass pattern, uh, but needed to tweak the edges a little bit. Uh, these have got a natural finish with a gun blue over the top. Bloody grubby mark on that orange one. Never mind. Um, they're a good size. They're silly sharp, and again, they're uh, 52100 uh, with the same heat treat process. Uh, they're about, yeah, I think it's about 5.8 mil thick. Thereabouts. Uh, there's one in brown paracord and one in the um, the high vis orange with the Scotch light running through it. So they're going to be listed on there. Uh, I'm not asking silly amounts for them because obviously they are just paracord wrap up. At the minute I don't have a lot of G10 and McCart and what I do is put aside for customs. So I'm just using the materials that I've got at the minute. And that just happens to be a lot of paracord. Um, this isn't for sale. This is uh, Matt's knife. Um, asked me to make him a sheath. Uh, it's a uh, Falkenhaven G1. Um, the way I've made the sheath is to sit across the small of the back and downwards and outwards it will not come out but it actually takes very very little effort to just lift and out. Um, I did think I had um, a stud that I could put through with like a piece of rubber over the top um, specifically for um, Kydex eyelets, but I, I, for the love and the money, I can't find it. But uh, you can pick them up fairly easily. But yeah, there you go, Matt. That looks quite cool as well. It looks way better than the original one. It's quite funky. Quite cool. No, that's obviously not for sale. Uh, this is Satan's Cleaver. Uh, this is 8.5 millimeter thick, 5200 um, bearing steel, same as uh, same heat treating as the others. Uh, this is as lean as I could get it. It's uh, I just don't need to strop. I forgot to strop it. Bollocks. Well, yeah, once that's dropped. <laughs> It is sharp. It is sticky sharp. I just need to go strop it and take that. There's a burr on it. Just need to knock that burr off. It's got the black paracord wrap on it. Um, this doesn't actually need much more with it being so thick. And uh, it's this is a a good size knife. Okay, the time is ticking. And these over here are 
um, big game skinners. It's, um, it's about six mil, five point eight mil, uh, fifty two hundred, um, same as before. Uh, these are as lean as I want to take them. Um, still retaining quite a lot of strength. Swedges vary slightly on them all. Um, I'll, I'll list them up individually. Uh, just playing about. Use these really to relearn how to grind on a flat platen. Um, it is literally like starting again. <laughs> um, but it's it's paying off dividends. I'm really happy. Um, got a couple more of the um, from this little bastard I've been messing about with to finish, and then I am going to be cracking on my customs now that I'm confident that I can actually get the finishes that I want, the grinds that I want to the level that I want. Um, but yeah, there's this one here, and sheets all have decent retention, considering the paracord and the big game skinners have the dog tags nice satin finish and you've got the ACU camel reflective orange that was what I was looking for, reflective black Audi green and uh, it's I think that's a multicam yeah anyway these are all going on Guy Bastion or apart from those three there which are already on which I will reduce the price of as well but, um, yeah It's nice to actually be able to grind again. <laughs> I have no idea what it's like. Anyway, cheers.